Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Beat That Bay. And the Beyblade we're going to try to beat today is... <laughs> a very tough combo. Is it even possible? Let's find out. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. And if you're new, please subscribe. And you can also like this video, share this video, and leave a comment. And for today's episode of Beat That Bay, where we um, use meta combos and try to beat them. Yeah, let's figure out how to beat meta combos Beyblade. I mean, meta Beyblades. So this is a very competitive combo. It's Tempest Lucifer, um, 2A Extend Plus on stamina mode. There's a version of this with 1S wheel, Extend Plus. But yeah, this is the probably the first meta combo of Tempest, the Tempest Ring. So let's see if we can beat this combo. I'm sure um, anybody can like just use a rage combo to beat this. But that's not what we're going to do because we're going to beat this in its own game which is defense, stamina, and LAD. So we well let's just see how good this combo is first. So let's match it with a Master Diablo 1S wheel combo. Just so you have an idea. I'm sure you already do. So the first strategy and fighting toe to toe with a defense stamina combo is to go opposite spin. If you want a battle of LAD and stamina, yeah, always opposite spin. Ooh, Master actually won that one. But in our first episode, we've already shown you how we can beat this just by using a glide ring. Imagine that, use a glide ring. So if it can co go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Master Diabolos, we're going to use three different world spring in combo. First is 1S Wheel, Awaken Mobius. Let's try and beat this. Again, with opposite spin, you don't need to hard launch or launch at the same time because they will spin equalize. Assuming that they hit each other. So with the 1S wheel Mobius combo, the strategy is, I mean the key point here is, if it doesn't fall down first, it will win, but it fell down first. It was actually doing pretty well until the end part. That's why the Mobius has to be awakened. But the thing is, the Tempest Ring is really good in stabilizing its opponent's balance. So this has a lower percentage of winning, but it let's just see if it can win. Oh, it, I think it won that time. It fell. A little, a little later than the first match. One more. Uh, that's a problem with Drift. I mean, that's a problem with Mobius. Let's see if it will still have enough stamina to win. Next, we're going to try the 2D combo. And there. Told you. If it remains standing, and again, if the opponent is in this position, then it can win. But if the opponent is in this position, most likely it's a draw. But if it's going to be like this, and it remains standing for the last second or millisecond of the battle, it can win. So it did win. Now, let's try the version where there is rubber. We're still going to use Mobius, but this time around, it's 2D. Oh, 
<laughs> and it's doing the same thing. Again, the purpose of these videos, uh, that the series of videos that I make, the Beat That Bay, is just to help other people who are not familiar with competitive combos to actually find ways on beating them. Especially the newbies like me. I'm just a newbie. I'm not really an expert on these things. Same thing, it fell first before the Tempest combo, so it lost. So, same principle. It has to remain standing. The Tempest combo has to stop first. And it's still lost. I guess the 1S wheel combo is doing better. I guess. I guess with the 1S wheel, it doesn't have a bottom part where it gets hit much because the wheel is really smooth and it's smaller than the ring. So there's lesser chance for it to get pushed. Yet just the advantage of this is it has more surface area to actually spin equalize. That's 3-0 I think. One more. And I'm going to replace it because it's not doing well. We can always use a an attacking combo to knock main blades out. We're just Trying to beat it in its own game, which is defense, stamina, and LED, which it proved very competitive worthy. I guess the 1S wheel combo is still better than the Mobius, the Awakened Mobius, compared to the 2D, because the 2D didn't even win one. Now, for our last combo, this thing, uh, World Spriggan, Free Spin, 2B, and Drift. And the Drift doesn't have to be awakened. Let's see. The good thing about this combo is that even though it's shorter than the Mobius combo, it has a bigger chance of remaining standing at the end of the battle. It will just depend on the position of the Tempest, if it can still spin. I think, just, just by a little, it won, or it's a draw. Maybe. The problem with the Tempest Ring is that, again, it's destabilized. It's good at destabilizing other opponents, and it's thick. Therefore, it touches a lot of the opponent's Beyblade parts. Which either results to draw or it's because it stops the other opponents. I think it won. Barely. It stops the other opponents Beyblade from spinning when it stops as well. That's why it's so hard to beat. But it doesn't mean it's impossible. That's why we're here. We're going to try and beat that Bay. Ooh, I think that is so close. I can't even call it. I think this got it barely, like just just a hair. And uh, it put up. It can also do that. Come on, hit it. Spin equalize there. Ooh, really, really close. Now for the really last combo. Since we're here with 1S wheel, let's use 1S wheel drift. Now what I was talking about is that the wheel disc is smaller than the ring. Chances are it doesn't get hit by the Tempest or the opponent's ring. 
See? Where the chassis? There's the gap. So it in theory it could have a better chance of winning. One S wheel combo is like the best combination for stamina bay blades, stamina LED when it comes to Super King. Or I could be wrong. Let's see if it beats that Beyblade. Come on. Oh. By a mile. Told you. Let's see if we can do three consistent wins. So we got one. If we get two, then that means, hey, that's really a reliable combo. Ooh, two zero. The only problem with this is if it goes with um, it, it battles an attack type. The burst stopper gimmick doesn't work on the wheel disc. So that's also something you have to take note of. Your launch strategy can be put to a test. To be able to avoid your strategy against attack types when using this combo, actually both, is to avoid the initial attacks. Most attacking Beyblade launches or strategies go or aim for the center right away, so find a way to avoid that. Ooh, pick this one. really good combo and the thing is with this you're not limited to just being a defense stamina hybrid you can go to an attack mode with the XD plus it gives you that option which is really good which makes it really really competitive a big one combo that gives you tons of options is a must have. But we're here not to just compliment it. We're here to beat it. And we've done it three times. Not in a row, but that shows you that this Beyblade can be beaten. Just with the right strategy and right combo. So hope this episode of Be That Bay was able to help you. Thank you for watching. And for all your Beyblade needs, just look at the description down below. Uh, don't forget to like and share this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Bye!